Okay, this is Magic the Magic Mini Series Part 2 going over light magic. You're doing glow, Mommy. <laughs> so, light magic is everything that is good and benevolent in the world. It's powerful, but it's not harmful. Um, the reminder that all magic comes with a price, um, and the price for light magicians is that they age significantly faster than other magicians. Um, giving them about half of the lifespan of the other kinds of magicians. And this is due to the fact that they are putting their cells into the work that they do. So with restoration magic, they're giving of their life force to bring life to other things. And with enchanting, they're actually putting tiny bits of their soul into the things that they enchant. Um, so it just takes away from it a little bit. So that is just a little bit about light magic and now we're gonna go into the specifics of each one. Okay, so for restoration magic. Um, restoration magic, the idea is that they um, have the ability to bring things back to their like previous, to a state that they had previously been in. Um, so for example, if someone was like born without an arm, they couldn't um, make an arm grow from that because it was never like that before. But if someone lost like a hand in battle and they happen to have a hand with them and it's in pretty good condition, um, then someone with restoration magic can put it back on, restore it to its previous state. Um, so, those who um, practice restoration magic almost always have other forms of healing, such as herbs, um, like first aid, bandages, things like that, um, potions even, um, because the more they use their magic, the more that it ages them. And so they tend to try to use these things first um, before they really need to like use their magic. Um, ways that they can use their magic is, is the way that restoration magic looks can be different for every person. Some people do like blood sort of magic. Others like have light that glows from their fingertips. Others can pray um, to if they're you know spiritual in nature. Even though I mean North Wind doesn't um, have like gods or anything. But anyway, that's beside the point. Anyway, um, so it really can look, however. Um, compared uh, to others so it's really up to again creativity of how you feel like you want to play it with your uh, restoration user um, rest masters of restoration can even bring people back from the dead um, they have to have been they had to um, have died very very recently like in the moment practically um, but um, when they do that, they're giving pieces of their like soul to the person in order to restore their life, and it kind of creates this sort of bond in that um, when the restoration user does, when they die, then anyone that they had brought back to life also dies at that point. Um, and then um, when also when they do that, it takes. A, a good like two years off of their life to bring somebody back. So some examples of how restoration might look based on the uh, the attribute point level of each magician is I've got a couple examples. So um, one oh, I wasn't this. okay if um, you're healing a broken bone, someone who's a novice or apprentice can align the bones and heal a skin abrasion. Someone who is adept can merge the bones together but not um, restore like complete strength. Someone who's an expert can heal the bone to the state it was before the break and somebody who's a master can heal the bone, reverse it back to um, any level of previous health. Um, the more that they reverse time, the more that it takes from their life source. Um, Okay. So another example would be restoring the health of a plant. So someone who is a novice or apprentice would be able to bring a small withering plant um, back to full health. 
someone who is um, adept can bring a small dead plant back to life. Somebody who is um, an expert can bring a small crop from withering back to full health. And then someone who's a master can bring a full crop back to full health, um, restoring like several dead plants. Um, so um, that is it for restoration. So now we'll move on to enchanting. Okay, so the second half of light magic is enchanting. Enchanting is a rare magic, so we don't see it um, nearly as often. Um, the idea of enchanting is essentially you're putting your magic into an item so that you don't have to continually be using your endurance and casting um, in order to make X happen. Um, so um, this happens by a um, magician taking a the tiny portion of their soul and putting it into the object. And this can be done in any number of ways. It can be done with runes, it can be done with spells, it can be done with potions or ceremonies or weaving with a cloth. It's totally up to the creativity of the member to decide how their character um, creates their objects. Um, by putting their soul into it, it kind of like ties the enchanter with the object and when the object is destroyed, the enchanter tends to feel it in some way or another um, then, and realize that it's gone. Um, um, all magical items in the world um, were created by enchanters, so no one other than enchanters can make an enchanted item. Any that are currently in existence were at some point created by an enchanter. Um, magical uh, characters who have enchanting can create as many magical items as they would like, um, as long as they don't give them an unfair advantage against other characters or in the world, um, or giving them things that they would normally need to earn through leveling or honor points or something like that. Um, people who are not enchanters, if they're like wealthy, they might have like one or two enchanted objects. Um, if they're not wealthy, it's less likely that they would have them. The exception to this rule always is that if you're given an enchanted object by an enchanter um, sometime in character after your character's been created, then that's totally okay. Um, a master of enchant, uh, a master enchanter, um, their items cannot be used against them. So that's a nice little plus. So LOL mentioned, um, she brought up the idea of grandmasters. Grandmasters of enchanting can enchant people, which we think is going to be pretty awesome to see played out in the creativity of what that really means. Um, so, but we're excited about that. Grandmasters can enchant people. So as far as um, how a skill, how enchanting looks based on levels, um, it can be really broad, but a kind of general idea is maybe someone who's a low level enchanter might be able to create a ring, enchant a ring that forces somebody to tell you the truth. Or a master would maybe be able to create like a sword that shoots fireballs at people. So um, just as a couple of examples of how it might work, um, but enchanters are awesome and we use them a lot in the site. Enchanters are the ones who help create the blood fiends and the shape changers um, through the ceremonies that um, that happens with. Um, so that's awesome and we like enchanting and um, yeah, so there we go. Restoration. Enchanting equals light magic, which is all lovely and beautiful and wonderful, but the downside is that you're going to die sooner, so is it worth it?